Hello and welcome to our Travel D Studio House series. In these tutorials we'll be showing you how to quickly create a professional 3D SketchUp model for a modern house. In this video we'll demonstrate how to perform the famous Treble D shell explode and show you how to fine tune your design and model. The Treble D Beach House series shows a lot more detail on this topic. Please feel free to take a look at it if you need more info. And we should also create a backup file by going to the file menu and choosing save a copy as. So here's the studio house from the previous video with all the modules in place. They're saved into two groups, level one and level two. I'll just disable this scan and update the scene. We don't need it anymore in the model scene. If we take a look at our level one scene, we can see that it's taken shape, but we just need to improve the viewpoint and update it. And I'll do the same for level two. And also update the views for the floor plans of level one and level two. Level 1 is still a group of individual modules and shells. The shells are the walls and floors which contain all our doors and windows. We need to turn it into one shell to make it easier to edit. So we go to the shell explode scene. Before we explode we should just check over the modules just to make sure there's no major errors. like this bedroom for instance, which needs to be spun around. And now we explode. Make sure the level one group is open. It will have a, a dotted box around it. We then make a right to left selection box to select all the modules. We then right click and select explode. This breaks up all the modules. Now we do it again. Make a right to left selection box, right click and select explode. This breaks up all the shells. Now we need to make it into one shell. So we drag another box, right click and select make group. We then assign it to the layer shell and we call it shell L1. Now we open up the shell for editing and I'll start with this front bedroom. If we select the scan scene we can see where our door needs to go. So we go back to the shell explode scene and make the alteration. We select the door and use move plus control to make a copy onto the other wall. We use the old door to reference the correct height. Then slide it into place. Now delete the old door. The door is actually swinging the wrong way so we select it, right click and choose flip along components red. This bathroom window needs to change, it's looking into the laundry so we select it, grab it in the middle at the top, copy it onto the outside wall and use the old window to reference the height. And now centre it in the new wall and delete the old window. So we just work our way through the house room by room, checking the scan and adjusting doors. Pushing out walls.
walls and deleting windows as required. And we just pull any missing walls into shape. I'd like to make some new doors here, similar to the doors to the entrance, but they need to be a bit smaller. So we copy them and using the scale tool, make them a bit smaller by grabbing the little red cubes. Now just drag them into place and type in point 0.75. Now each door has gone from 800 wide to 600, which is from 2 foot 8 to 2 feet. So there's a few missing walls here at the back of the garage and studio area. I'll just pull them into place. Now fine tune around this fireplace. I've got walls running into the chimney, which is going to create a conflict, so I'll just push the walls out of the way. Now all our walls, doors and windows are looking good. I'll just save our work and move on to level two. Shell Explode, it's thebomb.com. If it's all too hard or if you just don't have the time, please feel free to contact us at Treble B. We have very modestly priced consultants who can help you out with construction drawings or any aspect of the design process. Cheers.